hello there you guys, welcome to one of my videos. On this video, I'm going to be giving you my predicted 11 for Manchester United's game against Everton at Goodison Park. It's tomorrow lunchtime. So I'm going to go with the 4-2-3-1 formation. So in goal, David De Gea. At right back, I'm going to go with Diego Delo. Diego Delo is our first choice right back under Ralph Rangnick and he's impressed me under Rangnick. The two centre backs, I'm going to go with Harry Maguire and Victor Lindelof. Uh, Varane is not available for this game. Varane is out with injury yet again. Um, Harry Maguire. There's a good chance that he'll be leaving Man United this summer. He said the other week that Harry Maguire's Man United future is in doubt. The other week, Maguire got booed from England. Victor Lindelof. Um, he's not one of our first choice centre-halves anymore. Obviously, with the signing of Varane last summer. But Lindelof, you know, he has played a lot of games alongside Maguire. He's played games alongside Bailly. He's played some games alongside Varane. And I think he's also played alongside Phil Jones. Left back, I'm going to go with Alex Tellez. It will be Tellez at left back for this game because Luke Shaw is not available. He's out with injury. The two centre midfielders. I'm going to go with Paul Pogba and Fred. Um, Tomine is not available for this game. Um, he's out with injury. It may be Matic and Fred, but I'm going to go with Pogba alongside Fred in the centre midfield. In the attacking midfield, I'm going to go with Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes has got a very good goal scoring record against Everton. Don't forget, the other week, Bruno Fernandes signed a new contract with Man United until June 2026 as an option of a further year. His wages doubled. Fernandes now receives £240,000 a week. On the left wing, I'm going to go with Marcus Rashford. Marcus Rashford was dropped from the starting lineup against Leicester last weekend. It has said that Manchester United want Marcus Rashford to stay at the club this summer. Not so long ago, Marcus Rashford told his friends he wants to quit Man United. And Romano said earlier on this season that Rashford was considering his future with Man United as he was concerned about his lack of playing time. On the right wing, I'm going to go with Jadon Sancho. And up top, I'm going to go with Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, Ronaldo missed the game against Leicester last weekend. Um, he was out with illness 
Uh, Cavani can't play in this game because he's still out with injury. So that's how I think Manchester United could line up against Everton tomorrow lunchtime. You know, we are <coughs> coming into this game on the back of a 1-1 draw against Leicester. Everton, they recently lost 3-2 to Burnley. They lost 2-1 to West Ham last weekend. Everton are near the relegation zone, the 17th. I can't believe Everton are there. Everton's manager is Frank Lampard. He's not a good enough manager, is he? I'm expecting Everton to sack him, especially if they get relegated this season. Frank Lampard has been the Everton manager for over three months. Everton appointed him in in January this year. Lampard's got a contract with Everton until 2024. Before Everton, you know, Lampard managed Chelsea. You know, Chelsea sat Lampard last season. And before Chelsea, he managed Derby. Uh, before Frank Lampard, Everton had Rafa Benitez. Um, Everton sacked Rafa Benitez earlier on this season. Before him, they had Carlo Ancelotti. To be honest, we all thought Everton were consistent under him. Everton should have kept him, but Ancelotti did leave Everton to make a return to Real Madrid. And before, they had Duncan Ferguson as temporary boss. I think he's enjoyed two spells as Everton's temporary boss. At one point they had Marco Silva, um, Everton sat him last season. They had Roberto Man Martinez a long time ago, I thought Everton were very consistent under him. And at one point they had David Moyes, you know, David Moyes was the Everton manager for 11 years, so reflecting on that he was a long-serving manager. Now, like I've said to you already, I do know a lot of the players that Everton have got. Um, Everton have got Dominic Calvert-Lewin. He's probably the best player that Everton have got. Don't forget a long time ago, Man United were in for him. They've got Decore. Everton got him from Watford. Uh, Richie Arlidson, he's a very good attacking player. Uh, Salomon Rondon, he's a forward. Uh, Everton have Anthony Gordon, he's a midfielder. Uh, Alex Awobi, uh, Alex Awobi is a former Arsenal player. Andros Townsend, um, he's out with injury at the moment. Everton got him from Crystal Palace. They have Damari Gray. I think they got Damari Gray, was it from Leicester? Andre Gomez. He's out with injury at the moment. He's injury prone, is Gomez, because he's enjoyed quite a few injuries as an Everton player. Uh, they got Deli Alley. Everton got Deli Alley from Tottenham back in January. Uh, Donny van der Beek. Um, he's on loan at Everton from Man United. Um, Everton have no option to buy Van der Beek at the end of the loan. 
Uh, Van der Beek is out with injury at the moment. Uh, Fabian Delph, um, he's a former Aston Villa player. Uh, Tom Davis, he's out with injury at the moment. Uh, one of Everton's centre halves is Yerry Minna. Yerry Minna is out with injury at the moment. Um, Alan, um, Everton got him from Napoli. Alan was recently suspended. Uh, Everton have Michael Keane. Don't forget Michael Keane is a former Manchester United player. Ben Godfrey, Everton got him from Norwich. Uh, Mason Holgate. Seamus Coleman, um, he was out with injury not so long ago. So there you go. Everton's first choice goalkeeper is Jordan Pickford. I don't highly rate Jordan Pickford, to be honest with you, but he has had his good moments as Everton's goalkeeper. He did very well for England back in the World Cup in 2018. Another goalkeeper Everton have got is Asmir Begovic. And another goalkeeper they've got is Andy Lonergan. So there you go. And in January, Everton got Anwa El Ghazi from Aston Villa. Uh, Everton do have El Ghazi on loan. Let me put into the equation that Everton have lost players. You know, back in January, they lost Lucas Digne to Aston Villa. They lost Hamis Rodriguez. Uh, they lost Theo Walcott. Theo Walcott is at Southampton. Uh, Moyes Keane left Everton. Moyes Keane is at Juventus. Uh, they also lost Leighton Baines. You know, he was at Everton uh, for a long time. So there you go. And let me put into the equation, Man United have done transfer business with Everton before because a lot of years ago we got Wayne Rooney off them. Wayne Rooney was at Manchester United for 13 years. He's our all-time leading goal scorer with 253 goals. Uh, we also got Lukaku off them back in 2017. Uh, Lukaku did enjoy a couple of years at Man United and then obviously when we sold him he went to Inter Milan from Man United. Now Lukaku's obviously at Chelsea, he's in his second spell at Chelsea. Uh, and we got Fellaini off Everton back in 2013. Fellaini was at Manchester United for six years. And when we let Fellaini go, he went to China. Uh, the last time Man United played at Goodison Park, uh, Man United won 3 1. It was a 1 1 draw between Man United and Everton at Old Trafford earlier on this season. So anyway guys, that's everything to update you with. Drop your comments, likes below on the channel. If you do, consider subscribe as always and take care. God bless. See you all again very, very soon. Thanks for watching.